Oh, oh I need more coffee. Oh, okay. Please hold. Don't cut. Don't cut. Hold the frame. Just I actually have no idea if, if, how this framing is going to look because I can't see oh, it. Hey, everybody. My name is Paul. And I'm Luke. We are Twin Sauce, and uh, based on a lot of requests, we are making an update video for our Floyd Sofa review. Woo! <laughs> no, actually, it's really interesting because this, we are, so I found, mm, Back it up, back it up, back it up. Kind of a, back, a little bit of backstory. We've been fanboys of uh, Floyd since like 2013-ish. I found them on Tumblr. Yeah. And that was, I followed that their legs. Yeah. They were just like those utility set legs. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, but we've been kind of fanboys. We've, we have their bed frames. We have kind of everything or that we that we can afford to buy. We've bought them. Uh, yes. There's a lot of things we'd love to buy more of. So Floyd, if you're watching this <laughs> and you would be interested in having us review one of your products, we would love to work with you. And if you're just a viewer and you want to send us some money, there's like a bill of Venmo. <laughs> just kidding, don't we, do that, please don't We do really that. can't afford a lot of the products, but what we have bought, we do want to show you. And today we're doing an, update, an updated video of the Floyd Sofa. Wait, no, 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 shop cabinet again. Hold on, no, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> Floyd, if you'd ever be willing to do this, just send really the chase. Or want oh, just the, the birch. Wood. I want the birch. You can send me literally just, just the wood. two arms and a le uh, and a back piece and the bottom. Of the you the bottom. Oh, and the bottom. Yeah. And um, I would just be a happy parts. camper. I know. I love, put a chase on this side and the love seat on that mm -hmm. side. I know. Actually, it'd be fun to get a different. Listen, though, how much is the love seat? So I do have... really want their freaking table, though. I want the circle, the big one. I know. We got the ocean dyed color because we thought that the blue would actually kind of work with our aesthetic mostly. Usually, I would go with a black, gray, or white, but this time, because of its color, because I drink a lot of coffee on the sofa, I wanted something a little darker that might hide some of those stains. Now, the thing about the, this couch is it actually repels stains really nicely. It's got a treat. It's treated in a way that um, things just kind of slide right off it, which is really nice. I ha we have spilled things on this couch and it doesn't we don't have any show so I want to talk a little bit about because of that wear and tear durability all of that stuff it's really good this couch we've had other platform styled couches before we actually have one sitting over here that is not very comfortable but we just need more seating in our house so it's right there still but it is not very comfortable this is incredibly comfortable and it's been a year we take naps on it we do everything on it and it more still TV. is really comfy these cushions a lot of platform cushions are not very comfortable because they want them to be nice and cushy and soft and fluffy, but because there's only a board underneath you, you just sink through it eventually and then your butt falls asleep. But Floyd did a really good job of designing these cushions to be firm enough that you don't fall fall into the actual platform, but also soft enough that it's insanely comfortable mm -hmm. for long periods of time. Also, one of the big reasons we were really skeptical about getting birch on the bottom was because of the slideability of the cushions. We thought those cushions would just slide right off. There is a pad on the bottom along the center, and that's both for the upholstered and the unupholstered version, but it's, it got a fabric or a like rubber pad there that holds everything in place. And not only does it hold everything in place, it actually adds to the comfort, comfort. of it mm -hmm. without taking away the platform vibe that you have mm -hmm. with this amazingly beautiful yeah. couch. If you want an unbiased view, I will give you a few like things that I don't like about the couch, but really I am a little biased in that I love this couch. We love platform couches. Our entire life we like the vibe, we like how they look. It has been hard to find one that was comfortable and we found one that we love in Floyd. In Floyd. So to be fair, if you're here just to be like, is it a comfy couch? Yes. Does it have its flaws? Also yes. But for a platform couch, I don't think you're gonna get a better couch. Really? The, market. the only flaw that I have with this couch. And this is really just preference. It hasn't nothing to do with build quality, with comfort, with the vibe or the, the look. Anything that is most of what you're looking for in a couch, it's perfect. One thing I will say, if you are tall, this might not be the couch for you because it's a low couch. I'm not, I'm 5'6", I am very short, and it is a perfect couch for me. I can slouch in it, it is deep enough for me. Sometimes I would love for it to be a little bit higher in the back so that I am not like, I, I would like a little more up on top. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, I sit on the couch like this <laughs> most of the time, so it doesn't even matter. So yes. if I'm, if you're tall, it might still be a comfortable couch. I don't know because I'm not too tall. So next we're gonna talk about the design and the feel of the couch. So overall, it's a very comfortable couch. We've already talked about the cushions, that's great. But the design of the actual depth and height of the back is 
intentional. And we know why they did that. It's supposed to encourage lounging. So it's a deeper couch with a lower back. So you're intended to actually sit on it kind of like this. One of the problems is, is that sometimes when you sit like this, the cushions will deflate, not deflate, but they'll just like go down. Because and then your naturally. head ends up resting on the actual platform in the back, the actual backrest, which is not super comfortable. You can adjust the pillows if you're just not lazy. Um, I'm a little lazy and you can like make it work. Yeah. But that is one thing because it's so deep, you do lay back and because they don't always stay up super high mm -hmm. or the pillows aren't like extra big, that can add yeah. that. Um, you can also stop that by just adding your own pillow. If you adding extra to. pillows, or like what I usually do is on the side, oh, we had a wide angle here that'll show, but I just turn the pillow up like so on the side, and like if I'm talking to somebody, I'll, I'll chill like that. That's a great idea, I've actually See? never noticed. You've never done that? No, I've never done that. Oh, no. it's so handy. That's so handy. Also, you know, these I, are great little mats. I, and my, my friend Kevin actually did that first, and that looked oh, nice. to go. See, I like to like lay this down like this, and then just take nap. Oh. <laughs> like, so, oh. This is a good nap couch. Nap couch. This is a good nap couch. I will say that. Okay, I think if you're anyone, I would recommend getting yeah. the Chase. I, we really want the Chase, but we just haven't forked up the dough yet. Yeah. We're looking to add on the Chase. Yeah. Because um, I love having the Chase where you can just like put your feet up and you yeah. don't have to worry about having like, I put my feet on this crate yeah. all the time and it would be nice to have a Chase. That's just, yeah. it would just be nice. Yeah. I recommend that to anyone looking to buy this couch. Is it worth the price? Which is really why most of you are watching this video. You look at the, the thing online and you're like, oh, that's really expensive. Is it worth it? I think yes, but we'll explain. In the long run, Floyd's mission has been to create furniture that will not just be thrown away when you're moving. Yeah. Not to break down, it won't just throw out. They wanna make stuff that is detachable, easy to move, possible to move, yeah. and will survive the move for years to come. The thing is, this couch is made to last, hopefully a lifetime. I truly believe this couch will last forever. And it is timeless enough that it's not going to untrend and it will not like go out of style. I think if you did have like the birch instead of some of those accents, I think that maybe that would be a little bit trendier, but I think long-term, at least for the next 10, 15 years, right, you're not gonna need to mess mess with it. Now you could buy five Ikea couches in a time and every move you have to throw it out, but that's adding to a massive amount of waste, but also it's adding to your cost. Your cost, and which is adding though, up to become the same price as this couch. Right, yeah. If you are interested in buying something that is flexible and will work with you and grow with you through your life, I believe that this couch is worth it. Yeah. Anyway, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about anything else that Floyd has, we'd love to chat with the things that we do have. We do have the bed frame and we do have the utility set. So if there's anything, if either of those things are interesting to you, please just give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you want us to make an update on those as well. And we will. Anyway, thanks very much for hanging out with us. Thanks, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. See you in another video real soon. Don't die, okay, bye. Boom.